Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Here we are, alright, next video. I know I went a little fast in the last one and you had to wait to kind of get through here. Hopefully you watched it again <laughs> to know what I did. But if you check it out, what I did basically was I created a weapon base class and I wanted to make sure that we loaded the texture in that base class instead of doing it each time in all of these other ones when we're still going to load the texture. So, so I just wanted to make sure that we did it once here instead. And what that means is that we had to get a parameter in called texture file into weapon. And to do that, we need to get that in from all the other child classes and send that in to their base class weapon all right and in sword as well the most leaf child class you have to do the same thing you have to get a texture file you have to send it in through there so pretty much that is how you have to do it and then you'll have a texture file all the way down here in weapon which loads a texture for you so not too complicated just a lot of annoying steps that you might not want to take but but there you go that's pretty much what you have to do now the next step is going to be to run this and we'll see what errors we get so we can build and fix it so we're going to get a bunch of these and we know we don't have some stuff defined here so it's going to cry uh here let's go to error list all right let's debug this together so bow can't in instantiate abstract class all right i understand we know why that is uh let's close all of these until ranged weapon and weapon is open let's open up bow.h good now the reason for this is it's inheriting from uh, a base class which has two abstract functions or uh, uh, what do you call it pure virtual functions all right so I'm just gonna copy these put them into bow and remove this remember to remove the equals zero and we need to define these now if we define these, it's not going to be an abstract class anymore. And it's a really nice feature of C++ to automatically create a abstract class out of stuff that does not define these pure virtual functions. So hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, if not, I, I suggest you check out some more polymorphism and inheritance stuff, especially in these books like C++ Primer. It really explains it well. But there you go. Pretty much that's it. Also, you can check out my C++ tutorials if you want a refresher. But there, there we have it. Now, once this is done, we should be able to instantiate this class because we don't have any abstract functions that uh, are messing about. So here we go. Can't convert argument from one. Okay, fine, fine. That's cool. That's that's fine. Um, so what I did was I did not send in the texture file. Let's see. I was dumb as well. So what was that? Th you know, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I had it up here. I'm just going to copy this. You probably want to copy this as well. Just look at what it is and we'll just copy that. Whoops. There we go. I'll go ahead into player again. Player CPP. Put it right here. And we're going to say, okay, I want to load. So oh, shit. Okay. Hold on. There we go. I want to load this in. Boom. Okay. Good. Now we need a texture manager for this probably, but I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to do it like this. Should be fine. Uh, and this is going to create a sword for me. This is going to create a sword. Very nice, very nice. If I run this, hopefully somewhat something's going to happen. Okay. If we see a sword... We're good. Okay, we see a sword. We're fine. Now we just need to make sure we can attack stuff and all that. So the next step for us is to go ahead into our weapon base class. I want to close everything else actually. This is really annoying me. Close everything else. Weapon.cpp. Weapon.h. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, now the range of uh, this is going to be very interesting this range 
let's say this range equals uh da, da, da. what do we do what do we do do we need to uh do we need to do this here this init variables good good yeah don't forget to call that i forgot to call that now we're gonna need a range variable as well. Now this is gonna be a lot of tedious work. Do we wanna directly do this or what do we wanna do? Hmm, let's just do this to try it out for now and then we'll fix stuff later. Okay, so we'll just say the range is about 10 or 20 pixels. We'll just do 20 pixels and we'll make sure that we can get the range as well. Um, and we'll do that here in accessors. This, uh, no. Const unsigned get range. Const, oops, sorry. Const unsigned get range. Define that. Boom. Should pop up right here. Here we go return this range good so now we have a way to get our range um, and this will be nice outside and this is under public so we should be good and we should be able to access that easily so our sword will be able to get the range out good and just to test this attack stuff we're going to have to do that wherever we have our enemies. So our enemies should be in our state. And our game state. Here we go. We should have a variable here. Active enemies. Alright. And this is going to be a very dirty kind of thing. But let's see what functions we have. In it, in it, update player, update enemies, update player. Okay. So where should we have our attack? stuff should it be in players should it be in active enemies what should it be you know and if we if we go ahead and just do some research now together so we know what's going on update enemies let's see where i have that here okay so this will update a lot of the enemies okay you know what we're gonna do for now we're just gonna create a custom little function here void update combat float a dt and this is going to kind of contain all the players and enemy related stuff and i don't want to for loop through enemies too much but here we go but uh yeah that's how we're gonna have to do it if sf mouse is button pressed sf mouse and we're gonna clean this up so don't worry about it uh, this is just a test some stuff here uh, if so well, when we click the mouse if our mouse is within an enemy if uh, this let's see what we have here da, 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 da. state data it should be in state data i think mouse or should it be mouse plus view? There we go. If this mouse plus view. So we're going to check if I dot. Get global bounds. Contains. This mouse position view. Good, good. Nice. And if we're within range. So that is good. Let's open up our player here now. Let's see if we can make this work before at the end of the video. It's a little slower video this time. I had to think on my feet here. Uh, player, player, player. Where is player? Resource map, armors, item, entities, player. Here we go. Okay. Player.h. Very nice. Uh, let's make an accessor here just really quickly. Weapon const weapon pointer get weapon. 
const. And this is going to return our little weapon here. Return this sword. Boom. Now we'll be able to access that easily. And, and this player get weapon uh, range get range all right is less than okay all right so we need to get the distance between the player and the enemy this player that get position let's just do it in the X axis for now and then we'll clean this up as we go along uh, minus uh, I dot get position dot X like this STD absolute there we go so we don't get a negative value all right so if the range is less than or equal to this and that or the distance no it should be should be the other way around let's do it the other way around if the distance less than range then we'll have an attack all right cool 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 std c out hit i just want to see if this works here update all enemies Okay, I'm going to make a function that's catered for that. But still, for now, what we're going to do is this update combat uh, dt. Let's run this. Okay, so it's not hitting. It's not hitting. Okay, I'm further away now than 20. I should be. Rand 29, something like that. Just so we get a number, a random number out so we know it's different. Where is this damn thing? Oh, there we go. Okay, 20 pixels isn't a lot, to be honest. But, okay. I thought it was a lot more than this. Okay. That seems to be working, as long as you're really close. Alright, sorry about that, guys. There we go. Now, at least that is working. We'll get to this. To this. Or we'll do this. Uh, get to this. ASAP. We'll make a nice attack function. We'll make sure update combat is run in a correct place. We'll make sure all that stuff. Okay, don't worry about it. And yeah, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll stick around till the next video and keep working hard, right? All of you people are amazing. Take care. See you guys and girls in the next one. Bye-bye.